So this is part two of opening up the hips and for splits. So now we're going to work on our compass pose. So if you haven't done part one already, go check out part one. You're going to bring this onto your shoulder here. You're going to push your shoulder back and open up your leg and point your toe or flex. They can offer and provide different things. Now with this, you've got a huge rotation in your body. So that's why it's important to also do rotational work when we're getting um, more into the hips and the leg behind the head. Huge work through the torso, which is why a lot of people find compass very, very difficult. So really pushing back, opening up, rotating, lifting tall. From there, you wanna bring your leg down and do a little rocking of the baby. So the hip, is rocking back and forth the shoulder and under knee is connected and you're pushing back and forth rocking down back and forth but always lifting your torso nice and high so you can hold this as long as it feels comfortable i like to do a little bit of diagonal rocking as well this also helps another option is instead of being over the knee is to take it here so you've got the foot in your elbow pit and the knee in your other elbow pit. Now, if that's still also uncomfortable, you can come under and do it like this, okay? So there's lots of options here. So from there, bring your foot down. What we do to one side, we must inevitably do to the other. So remember to make sure that you have warmed up, okay? Remember this is more of a tutorial for people that have been working on their flexibility for a while now or have the mobility in their body okay so opening up here breathing deeply this also helps open up for the straddle and splits as i mentioned so even though i like to straighten and open sometimes when i feel a little sticky like i'm doing now or you can simply just hold it so even though some people Utilize it for hips, other people utilize it for splits. You have to listen to your body. Always listening to your body. Breathing deeply, snuggling it over your shoulder, lifting up tall. Find the movement that works best for you today. Each day it will change. Remember, if you need to, bring it through to here. Always aiming to sit up tall. If you want, use a wall to sit up tall. From here, we're going to work into our frog. Okay, so with our frog, we're going to come down and open into our frog, pushing our bottoms back and forth here, squeezing our glutes, because when we squeeze our glutes, we get a little bit lower. So you're going to come down here and squeeze your glutes, pushing it back and forth, back and forth. And really pulling and flexing, you're getting nice and low by squeezing your glutes. Breathing deeply, squeezing your core as well, bringing your leg back slowly. Then you're going to extend out into the other leg. Okay, rocking back and forth again, back and forth. Really working on the hip alignment, squeezing your glutes, bringing the leg back. Again, next leg comes forward, okay, point and flex. And then if you have the capability and you want to try, you can start to rotate into your splits here. Okay, breathing nice and deeply, rocking back and forth, slowly coming up. And to add to this movement, you can also bring your legs around here, okay. And then you can, from here, bring your legs in to the frog, okay? From here, you can bring your legs out into the splits and then all the way around. And so this is a nice way to work full mobility of the splits, nice way to get into your hip flexors and your hips and also into movements for leg behind the head. Now you may